So day four of raising awareness about neurological physio. It's Sunday and we uh, completed our trail run yesterday so we've treated ourselves today and come along to Taupo hot bath. So I thought it'd be a unique time to talk about hydrotherapy. So I'm a big lover of hydrotherapy and I think it is a element that's pretty underutilized now in rehabilitation and especially with neuro and um, it's fabulous because of the buoyancy of the water um, you know if you've had a major accident and you've had a stroke or a spinal cord injury or MS and you have not been in water and had that floating feel for a number of years it can be really um, really an amazing concept to do it also allows you to be able to exercise um, at a level that you might not be able able to on land it can really help with pain it can help with spasms um, and it can also be super hard work as well um, a lot of people underestimate how hard the water resistance is and how hard you can work it's fabulous for training like power and ballistic muscle strength um, especially those you know of Parkinson's and MS who can really lack that amount of kind of fast twitch power when they're required Interestingly, a lot of people feel, um, or I felt for a number of years, that hydrotherapy isn't conducive for those who are heat sensitive, but actually that's quite incorrect. So um, your body is better expelling heat when it's next to water than it is air, and if water is at 34 degrees, that's thermoneutral to the body. So as long as the hydro pool is based somewhere between 32 and 34 degrees, then you are going to expel heat faster and it's going to be a much more comfortable temperature to exercise in. The problem with um, exercising in hydro pools can often be the ambient, the air temperature, rather than um, the water temperature itself. So I have to say, I think hydrotherapy is completely underutilized nowadays with hospitals um, and private practices often just looking at the expense and, and pulling out their hydro pools but also physios aren't driving the use of hydrotherapy enough and um, so I think that's a real element from a therapy point of view that we really need to do that and you can just get great gains you can get people up and walking and moving in the pool that you just often can't do on land so um, that's it for the weekend and I look forward to telling you how we get on in the clinic tomorrow